This walks through some of the configuration options for customizing your application. When we look at an offense guideline using the viewer, there's a couple of tricks to getting the best out of navigating your Adobe PDF file. A double click will get me into a page width for any offense. And clicking to the right of the page takes me to the next page for that particular offense. And correspondingly, back again to the previous page. I also have the option of bringing up thumbnails if I really know which page or section I wish to go back to. We can also, using these buttons, do other things with the document. So I could, if I needed to, perhaps print this to a printer or email it to a specific email address. We can also customize the application to remove this bar completely from the application. Let's just run through and configure this advanced option for automatically hiding the top information bar. First thing I need to do is not just leave the application, but close the application by double clicking the home button clicking and holding the sentence guidelines icon, then clicking the little red minus sign. That has stopped the application from running. So I can then go into settings, scroll down the list of settings and applications, find sent guides, and then within here, enable Auto Hide Toolbar. OK, so we finish with those settings. We'll remove the settings application and just restart Sentence Guidelines. And with Sentence Guidelines restarted, we'll go back into an offense. And as soon as I start working with the PDF, you can see the toolbar has disappeared, giving me a full screen view of the offense guideline. Now, the other actions still work. I can click to the right to get to the next page. And I can recover the toolbar by clicking either at the top or at the bottom, and the bar comes back on screen. Let's just do that again for a different uh, guideline. So the bar's there and present. And as soon as I click on the offense guideline, that bar disappears. And I can bring it back with just a single click in the center top or center bottom, and then exit the offense guideline. That completes configuring the offense guideline toolbar.